refreshing rain like a season. What do you need? I'm here about the notice. Yes? I have six jugs of dog's lard. I use the lard on the caskets. <laughs> Here's your payment. I want to get inside the cemetery. City authorities prohibited it. How can I change your mind? I'd need Captain Mice's permission. No other way to sway you? Actually, I have a terrible debt with Taller. Clear those debts, the cemetery key's yours. Why is the cemetery shut? Because the dead refuse to rest in peace. Fear not, they stay in their graves in sunlight. Someone should tend to them, though. Perhaps someone will offer a reward, but for now, no one seems bothered. I'll deal with it when you agree to pay me. For now, farewell. Think putting a dead body to rest is easy? Do what you will. Perhaps the watch captain will reward you. Won't hurt to check. What do you need? Farewell. Yes? The dock is safe now. I knew you'd do it. Here's your payment. Thanks. Yes? How's business? You think me a seller of turnips? I run businesses you can't even fathom. I see. You're confusing reflected stars for the night sky. I'm waiting for important news. Let's talk. Yes? Transport services at the best prices. Take me to the other side. Times are wasting. Made up your mind? Ready to go? How many times are you going to ask me that? To the swamp. Is it? I'm here about the notice. Finally. Got the hides? I do. Ten wolf pelts. Wonderful. The title of Royal Jägermeister will be mine. Else, I'll become a mercenary. Farewell. Signifies wrath, thou strays from the dry land. The Water Lords and I. Was another Witcher here, Berengar? Yes, asking about alchemies. He wondered about the Mage's Tower. Colkstein doubtless sent him. Then we found his gear covered in blood in a clay pit. Thanks, Vaska. I saw signs of fighting there. Not monsters, but men. Evil men from dry lands, flaming lizards. Beware! The 
they're setting us up to be slaughtered, lest the swamp swallows us. Speak. The ferryman paid me for the herbs. About time. Here's your share. Real pleasure doing business, Witcher. Likewise, Yaren. Speak. Godspeed. Ow! Oh! Geralt? By the eternal fire, it's good to see you. What happened? An Echinops thorn pains me under my grieve. I fear I cannot walk. We were seeking the Golem burial ground. Some fool, may the eternal fire illuminate the darkness of his mind, was ranting on about mosquitoes and golems when the cursed plant shot me with its thorn. Ouch! You should get someone to dress that wound. No time for trivial matters. Elves and hawkers are dealing at the burial ground. My duty was to eliminate the hawkers and the Skyatel, chopping off all the Hydra's heads in one fell swoop. Guess the Hydra got a reprieve. It was a direct order from the Grand Master. Help me. I'll appoint you commander of my unit. I'm a witcher, not a soldier. I believe in you, Geralt. Nothing occurs without cause. The Eternal Fire has given you both honor and responsibility. Don't get excited, Siegfried. We truly need your assistance. Wait here. I'll look around. Gwynblade. Gwynblade. What's that mean? White Wolf. You know me? Your name precedes you. You may know more than me. I remember nothing of my past. Some things are better forgotten. Nevertheless, I do feel sorry for you. Can you help? Sadly, no. Perhaps my sisters from Brokilon could help, but they are far away. Tell me about Brokilon. Brokilon is the Dryad homeland, a wilderness untouched by humans. Those surrounding Brokilon wish to claim our forests and thus humans and Dryads fight continuously along the borders. Who is winning? Our archers are matchless, but how long can we resist the brute force that rendered humans the world's rulers? So you agree with the elves and dwarves fighting for independence? Those children? They have long forgotten the struggle's meaning, craving blood and revenge, having only contempt for humans. They fail to see they begin to resemble the humans themselves. We merely defend our home, Gwynblade and have no ambition of driving humans into the sea. Why don't you reach a compromise with the humans? Ha! Huh. You treat concessions as weaknesses and believe acts of goodwill are traps. You will never accept our otherness. Tell me about your lives. Brokilon is our home, Ithlin our lady. We live in harmony with the forest flowing through the thickets and knowing the forest secrets. Are you happy? Like humans, we have joys and sorrows, though our end is near. The war with the humans continues, and our numbers diminish. What are you doing here? It is a secret. Though I'm taking the chance to visit this grove of old, beautiful trees. Farewell. I wish to return. What is it? Aren't those wyverns? Wyverns, indeed. How did you master them? Tamed them through hard work. I guarantee they're not drugged or their wings clipped. See for yourself. Any accidents? Only the fool who tried to brush a wyvern's teeth. I see. Any other questions? Zephyra and Obelisk merged. The old spells still work.
the Water Lords and I. Life in the swamp must be dull. We can't complain. Work during the day and evenings filled with stories and playing dice. We should play sometime. The Water Lords and I. What is it? I can't find Yavin. What happened to him? He left to join other elves in the swamp. Where can I find him? I wouldn't know. Witcher. You've been busy. A training camp? We must train to fight effectively. Really think this band of warriors can accomplish something? Can a few stones turn into an avalanche? Can an entire city burn down from just one spark? No need to answer. We both know the truth. Hmm. Yes. I have Vivaldi's response. He sends words, not gold. I suspected as much. So my effort was in vain? Quite the contrary, Witcher. Vivaldi either will not or cannot help us. Crucial information regardless. Did he say why he refused? Vivaldi's gone bankrupt. Interesting. The bank functions, yet Vivaldi is bankrupt. Thank you, Geralt. I have an idea. Yes. Got more work for me? Hmm. You proved apt at moving around the swamp and performed a favor for us. There is something. I'm listening. I've heard that Knights of the Order of the Flaming Rose have entered the swamp. Those fanatics detest non-humans. They'll come for us sooner or later. What's it to do with me? I'd like you to lead the unit to the Golem Burial Ground. We have car and await with a weapon shipment. If matters turn dire, I expect you to prevent the unit from dispersing. All right, I'll help. But tell me who the Havkarin are. I'm gratified. Hawkers, as humans call them, supply weapons to our units. Waste no more time, the unit is ready. May your footsteps be soft, your breathing relaxed, and fight bravely. Are the knights a serious threat? They're heavily armored. You best prepare. I heard witches augment their fighting prowess with potions. Yes, 
they'll be useful. Yes. What are you preparing for? None of your concern, Witcher. But you're no fool. Think hard. Perhaps you'll figure it out. An uprising against humans? What if I inform the authorities? Correction. We aim to win the war we're fighting, not start an uprising. And worry about your informing on us? A non-human yourself? Humans will take you no more seriously than they do us. And even if they do listen, we are prepared. So well, in fact, that nothing can stop us. Vizima will burn soon. I hope I'll be far away when it begins. Knowing you, we'll doubtless meet in battle. Question is, which side will you choose? My own. Naive as a child, you'll find it impossible to remain neutral in a war. Time will tell. Yes. What are you preparing for? None of your concern, Witcher. An uprising? Correct. I hope I'll be f knowing you. Your side. I feel a connection with other freaks who can't be trusted. Sarcasm is no protection against swords. You'll understand that in time. We'll see. Yes. What are you preparing for? None of an up. Correct. I hope I'll be knowing you. Yaven, I'm a witcher. I was created to protect humans from monsters, whether they have tentacles and scales or walk around on two feet giving lofty speeches. I must admit you amuse me, but I shan't mock you. I'll also refrain from correcting your reasoning. But think how the humans you protect treat you. Do they deserve your loyalty? That's my business, Yaven. Yes. Farewell. Yes. I led the unit to the burial ground and we ran into some Knights of the Order. I assume you were victorious. I'm highly pleased, Witcher. Here is your reward. But we found neither hawkers nor weapons. We'll acquire weapons. The Dwan will come for our gold. Most importantly, the Order has been beaten. You will hear of me yet. I'm sure I will. I conducted a little investigation into that Witcher who roamed the swamp before you. Learn anything? Yes. He was seized by Dwan wearing the Salamandra sign. Apparently he offered no resistance. So he isn't dead. But why did he hide his gear? Maybe he foresaw their coming. Look out for yourself, Gwynblyde. Thank you, Yaven. Yeah! <laughs> 
What do you want? Take me to the other side. Time is money. Made up your mind? Ready to go? I wouldn't have paid you otherwise. Take me to town. Yes? I brought some liquor. Splendid. Bring a friend. See you at the party. Here at last. Mm-hmm. Listen, I got it all figured out. Calstein and Ramsmeet were associates. I have irrefutable evidence. What do we do with that information? We set a trap, though it might be dangerous. Gather your equipment and come back later. All right. Yes? I wanted to ask you about the commander of the Royal Guards. I saw him in town some time ago, busy bashing perverts. How come? What don't you understand? Everyone knows the guard commander hates anyone he can call deviant. Everyone knows, but few care. Yes? I have a suspect. Spit it out, Geralt. Captain Vincent. Unlikely. Even if he was involved in getting the professor freed, that just makes him a crooked cop. But if he's taking bribes from Salamandra... In this town, only the fish in the lake don't take bait. And that's just because they're floating belly up. Without proof, he's a waste of our time. Let's focus on Kalkstein and Ramsmeat. I have a suspect. Spit it out, Geralt. The fence. Taller. A mysterious fellow. He's liable to have his dirty secrets. We all do. It'd be good to know what he's hiding. But Ramsmead and Kelkstein remain my chief suspects. I find your reasoning somewhat flawed. Witcher, don't get me wrong, but this is hardly my first case. I'm in my element, been waiting in this bog for years. Hmm. I'm good at what I do. I don't go around telling you how to hunt monsters, do I? I know how to handle monsters. And I know how to handle this case. Something's been worrying me. Speak freely, Geralt. You can trust me. It's you. I have the impression you've changed. No reason to be shy. Tell me. Recently, my medallion has vibrated every time I've come here. Must be my warning amulets. Salamandra's men could attack at any moment. It vibrates a lot. A master mage made these amulets. They're not St. Lebiota's tailbones or other crap from the market square. That's not my only concern. What else? Why the world map on your wall? Developed an interest in international politics? Everyone should know what's going on in the world. It also improves my image. Say you were a client. What would you think when you saw that map? I am a client, and I think you're really interested in the Redania-Tamaria border. You've marked it with pins. Witch's vision. I forgot. But we're not all witches. A normal person would think, what a worldly fellow. He must have worked all over. And that's the idea. That's not my only concern. What else? I've heard some really vile rumors about you. 
Something about girls. Oh, that. Rams meets revenge. I investigated one of his underlings. Now they want to discredit me. Don't worry about that. You mean all those strange things you supposedly do? Come on, Geralt. I'm the first to admit I'm no saint, but I don't get into nasty stuff. That's not my only concern. What else? Victims in the swamp! What's happening in the swamp? Full of monsters and non-humans. No wonder people are dying. Yes? Care to drop in on Shani's party? At our place? Yeah. See you there. Bring alcohol. Farewell. It's hard to come by. When will the match? I can't handle this! My heart! Help! What now? Such debauchery under my roof! She hooks herself a musician or something! It's the famous poet, Dandelion. I know his fame! I've no desire to listen to a crying brat nine months from now! Shall I chaperone them? Finally! You're making sense! Hi, Geralt. Dandelion can't wait to see you. Geralt? I'll be damned. For a second there, I thought I was seeing a ghost. No, I'm no ghost. Am I losing my mind? Is this a joke? Shawnee? And it's no joke. But how? I saw it myself. What did you see, Dandelion? I saw her tell them to put you on a boat. And there was a unicorn, and Milva, Kahir, and Angulem, and Yarpen, and Zoltan. We all witnessed it. I lost my memory, but I want to know why everyone's so surprised to see me alive. Tell me everything, step by step. Five years ago, we were sitting in a tavern with friends, eating escargot, drinking vodka. A bloodthirsty mob attacked the non-human district. You went out into the street to scare them off, and then... What? Someone stabbed you in the stomach with a pitchfork. A fatal wound. There was nothing we could do. Are you telling me everything? We were all there. All meaning who? You really don't remember a thing. Your loved ones. Your friends. Sounds a bit like a ballad. It's the truth and nothing but. Geralt, forgive me. I still can't believe you're here. Listen, Dandelion, I don't have proof because that's impossible. I don't remember. I'm afraid some things can't be explained. Hmm. Let's sit down, have a drink like old friends. Time will tell who I am. You're right. We've been through too much together. I'd know. You invite anyone? Zoltan Chive. Know him? No, but I'd love to meet him. Splendid. Zoltan and I have always gotten along. I've been thinking and I have a question. Don't hold back, Dandelion. It doesn't suit you. Let's imagine your next contract is a vampire. What would you do? Silver sword, potions. What are you driving at? Ha! Huh. What if I said you'd reach a deal with this vampire?
Dandelion, believe me, if you could tell a Bruxa to hunt rabbits, for instance, I'd be long unemployed. What about higher vampires? They're rare. I don't know. Let me show you what drinking blood means to a higher vampire. Dandelion. Cheers! Cheers. Ah, strong, but good. You were about to enlighten me. I just did that with that last shot. Listen to a man who's lived a little and not lost his memory. Higher vampires treat blood like we treat... Ooh, someone's coming. Zoltan Chive, miss. It's been a while, Dandelion. Greetings, Geralt. Greetings. Hey, Zoltan. I have a hankering for a good booze. It's coming. Pour around, Geralt. Stiff stuff. My eyes are watering. This is best, I always say. It depends. For a romantic dinner for two, booze won't do. Not so much for the taste, but because of the after effects. My Eudora and I have often downed a jug and observed no effects. I prefer wine, but don't mind liquor. In moderation. Quality booze is also used in modern medical treatments, which Shani will confirm. It's an excellent disinfectant, yes. Not only. It warms the body, alleviates pain, and overcomes weakness. Let's test it. Cheers! What is it? Tell me about the Battle of Brenna. With four of us and thousands of wounded, I never left the tent. I admire you, Shani. It was one of the worst days of my life. I hope you don't mind that I invited Sultan. I like him. I'm glad. So, as I was saying, unlike the lesser ones, higher vampires don't need blood, human or otherwise. Blood, my dear monster slayer, is like booze to them. Where'd you learn this? By the spider's hairy balls, I know. Am I the only one who's confused? No, I don't get it either. Dandelion, what's your point? Geralt, you had a true friend who was a vampire. Did I also have a friend who was a dragon? Actually, you did, so the joke's on you. In any case, this vampire's name was Regis. Zoltan can back me up. He was your friend, and could pull red-hot horseshoes from the hearth without burning his bare hands. What happened to this Regis? Emil Regis Rohalak Turtsif Godfroy died fighting by your side, Geralt. Let's drink to him and others who have fallen. Let's drink. Caleb Stratton. Presti! It's completely dark down there. Let's drink to our mistakes. Let's drink to our mistakes. You hungry? A little. We've bread, but we shouldn't eat plain bread. Zoltan's right. We need some lard. That mummy downstairs must have a full larder. You're joking. That mummy must have some lard. Maybe pickles, too. Shani? Just don't get caught, Geralt. I'll pay for them tomorrow. Wait a second. Why me? Dwarves are no masters of stealth. Shani wouldn't sneak about, and Dandelion, well, he'd mess up. All right. I'll be right back. Any success? Lard and pickles. Hmm. How about sugar? Zoltan. Fine. Lard will do.
Let him play. Quiet, dandelion singing. I think I know the perfect song for Zoltan. We'd love to hear it. Sing away, dandelion. By the woods, can you see, wolf in all his might? Grinning madly, wagging gladly, bouncing with delight. My oh my, what a sight, why no melancholy? Must be that, still not wed, that is why so jolly. Arr, arr, arr. In the grass, can you see, wolf just limps along. Looking down, awful frown, crying like a dog. Why is this mighty beast so badly rampaged? Must be that, freshly wed, or lately engaged. Arr, arr, arr. Zoltan, how's the wife? Ah, uh, hard question, Dandelion. The old times will never come back. The good old times. Shani's asleep. Let's have a drink, then leave. To Shani. Look how they grow. I'm here about the notice. You look like a warrior. Care to kill Echinops for me? I've finished that and have proof. Excellent. Here's your gold. Yes? I'm ready for Ramsmate. Good. He leads Salamandra's armed force. You have to kill him. Won't be easy, but I'll try. That makes no sense. Looks like I have to deal with these idiots. Looking for something? All right, go in. What do you want, Wolf? See you. Yes? So I killed Ramsmeat. Excellent. You broke the organization's spine. I found no proof on him. He was completely clean. We'll rip the proof from Kalkstein's dead hands. He's Azar Javed's chief aide. 
He may even be Javed himself. I see you've planned everything. I have. We need to lure him into a trap. The Swamp Tower interests him. We can use it as bait. So I'll wait for you there. Geralt, we're nearing our investigation's end. The solution is within reach. How do we handle this? We need to secure what's hidden in the tower. All the books and scrolls. Bait for our target. Just one thing missing. I have yet to unlock the tower door. That's where I come in. This stone is the key to the tower, or part of the key. You make sure you get Kalkstein interested, like we agreed. What is it, Witcher? Many problems in town? Bandits, monsters, the plague, and you. Right. What is it, Witcher? See ya. I know we need a Witcher to kill the sewer beast, but the Butcher of Blaviken? What's the problem? I know who you are. The city guards are watching you. I'll hear no humans being slain in this town. You'd hardly be the first to know. Witty? What you want? I saw people with salamander badges in town. Get out of here, Witcher. But... We cannot speak further. Captain's orders. Looking for something? Anything interesting? Shops? Taverns? There's one tavern, three gates, a market, a hospital, and dark alleys you'd best avoid. What's the tavern? The Hairy Bear? A true cesspit with dodgy clientele. Better to drink from a trough. What about the gates? One leads to the dark, another to the castle, and the third to the merchant's quarter. Where do I find them? You cannot use the merchant's and castle gates without a permit. The king is instituted a quarantine. Where are the merchants? The bar the castle gate. What's the hospital like? It reeks of the plague. They treat the diseased, burning the rags they use. Anyone who gets on our bad side gets stationed there. <laughs> I must go. What is it, Witcher? See ya. Yes. Red roses, Geralt. So you... You're blushing. I get flowers so rarely. A pretty young medic like you can't be lacking admirers. Well, this gloomy fellow scared everyone else away. If you need help. No, I'm fine. He was mysterious, even charming in a peculiar way. We actually went out a few times, and who knows what might have happened if I hadn't discovered he was leading a double life. Who do you mean? Taller. I doubt you know him. We were walking along the dike one evening, when I realized we were being followed by two men wearing grey coats over special forces armor. The coats were supposed to hide them. They didn't know at university I learned to recognize their kind. I thought we were going to be arrested, then Taller told me not to worry. Duty called, and we needed to part. I was about to give him a piece of my mind when I noticed the men giving him signals. Were they wearing salamander badges? Wait. I was curious, so I said he broke my heart and faked fainting. Taller said to the men, This better be important. One of them answered, But Chief, we hid invisible-like. Taller said, Your balls will be invisible-like when I shove them up your ass. I couldn't help but burst out laughing. How'd it end? They walked me home. I heard an invisible one say their operation against Salamandra had failed. Who were they? Voltes secret police. When we first met in Oxenfurt, I helped you evade Redanian agents. The Temerian ones are little better. Speaking of Oxenfurt, what did Dandelion actually interrupt? Thought you'd never ask.
So what'll it be? We doing some plowing business? I know about your tryst with Shani. Ah, oh, fuck off. We aren't all plowing philanderers. Some of us have depth. Transport services at the best prices. Take me to the other side. Times are wasting. Made up your mind? Ready to go? How many times are you going to ask me that? To the swamp.
the Sephiroth are set. My medallion's vibrating like mad, so the spell must be working. The tower door should be open. I can't wait to see Kolkstein's reaction. Aren't you eager to learn the truth? I'd rather stay focused. Should I get the book from the tower? Yes, hurry. We can't let Kalkstein get ahead of us. I hope that murderer swallowed the bait. I think I made sure of that. You'll soon learn the truth. Good. I was getting impatient. What do we do now that we have the treasure from the tower? How do we lure the mage here? He's here already. I only see you. So you say. The detective was on to me and you trusted him, so I killed him and assumed his identity. Two birds with one stone. I needed you to open the tower. I don't need you anymore.
was the beginning of events that would soon rock Temere. Sensing the approaching conflict, both sides were eager to test the enemy. A routine skirmish between patrols erupted into a regular battle. The Scoia'tael were determined, their longing for freedom was strong, and they proved victorious. The Order learned the non-humans are a foe far more dangerous than previously assumed. Azar excluded me from the battle. When Triss woke me, heaps of bodies appeared before my eyes. It was the last time I was able to avoid taking sides.